out a pair of... You want something from me, do you? What was that? I'm at your service, Sir Knight. Teresa, the millmaid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalis, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. We've stopped harrowing things jolly for more. You'll find it nowhere else. I'm from Scalitz, and I know them both personally. They worked in the royal mines, and their master couldn't praise them highly enough. In the Scalitz mines? But that's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. Good luck to you. It's, it's nothing outside. Pick up the snares.
Leave me be. I want to sleep. Uh, go, go away. Leave me alone. What do you need? What happened here? Horror of horrors, Master. We were attacked by some bandits, and then the plague broke out. Jesus Christ. That's right. The Almighty has sent this punishment on us. These bandits, who were they? Some thieving rabble. What do I know? Maybe those damned Cumans, but they spoke Czech. Ask the captive at the Melichars. How did you manage to fight them off? Well, we were lucky. Young Straw saw the gang a little way out of the village and ran to warn old Melichar. If it wasn't for that, none of us would be here. It looks like you fended them off, though. I can't see any burned houses. They had no time for that, but they've left us with fresh graves. Young Straw himself got cut up something terrible, and a few others. Melichar, Straw, those names are new to me. They're locals. Melichar's been in charge here since old vassal Smil from Neuhof passed away. May God grant him eternal peace. And Straw, that's the local woodsman. Poor fellow. The bandits killed his son, and his wife has the disease. Where will I find Melichar? If you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, Melikar's is the house on the left. I'd like to talk to Straw. I see. Well, if you stand at the main gate of the stables and look across the road, you'll see Straw's house on the right. And the disease? Tell me something about it. I don't want to tempt fate by talking about it. There's not much to tell anyway. It hit us just after that rabble left. First the horses died. I'm looking for Matthias. I think he works at the stud here. Matthias, Matthias. Wait, I know. He's not been here long, isn't that right? Not long, it's true. Well, those bastards got him. He's laid up at the stud now. His arm's in a bad way. But at least he's still alive. Thank you. Thank you, that's all. May the Lord watch over you. Are you Melikar? Oh, aye, that's me. I need to speak with the prisoner. And why is that? Who might you be? Henry, envoy of Saradze Kobola. I'm here to investigate the attack. I'm sorry. I have other things on my mind right now. In case you hadn't noticed, we have pestilence raging here. No news has reached Ratai of any disease here. But I'm here now, and I can help you. Hmm. Well, since you serve Sir Adzig, you might be of some use. If anyone can be. Tell me what to do. There's a stable hand living with us here, Matthias. 
Yes, I know him. And he knows some girl who helps out in the monastery infirmary. Your hanker, I think her name is. She might know someone to turn to, if she's actually there. Very well. I'll go to the monastery. It's probably our best hope. Thank you. At least for taking the trouble. But then, even if you cared nothing for us, the prisoner's got the pestilence too. He'll die without help. If I have to go to the monastery, I need to know as much as possible about the disease. I'll definitely need to know its symptoms. They're bound to ask me that. It's hard to say. My wife is feverish. Others have the chills. I heard some are throwing up. Others still are breaking out in sores. But why don't you see for yourself? People talk a lot and I don't know what to believe anymore. Very well. I'll make the rounds. I've daubed lime on the afflicted houses. But don't stay too long in those homes. <laughs> that I can promise you. God be with you. Brother, dearest brother, is that you? No, I'm not your brother. Then go away. I won't. May the Lord watch over you. Brother, are, are you here? Brother, dearest brother. Yes, it's me, your, um, brother. Adrun is nearly here. We need to get the scallops for the fair. Um, tell me, brother, how are you feeling? Wait, you're, you're not my brother. You're one of those brutes. Brother, don't you recognize me? It's me, I'm your brother. I was gone for a long time. I've come back home for Advent, remember? Yes, uh, yeah. Oh, I'm thirsty. Terribly thirsty. Good luck to you. Stop! Merciful God, have mercy on his soul. Who are you? Can't you see we have the plague cross on the door? My name is Henry. I'm going to the monastery to get help. It's long past time. The Lord's already taken my poor Antony. And what do you want from me? I need to know how the illness afflicted your husband. Yes, I'll tell you everything. But first help me bury my husband. I'm too weak. And Malikar said the dead should be buried at once. Of course I'll help you. Thank you. We have to bury him at the back of the house. I understand. Thank you. When you're ready... It's done. Thank you. Now please take him there. Oh, Lord.
Will you please tell me about his illness? Certainly. My husband had the fever all over. Anything else? He had great pains in his belly. He said it felt like it had been stuffed with rocks. He was writhing all night through. He must have hurt terribly. Thank you. Have you come for my wife? You're out of luck. I'm old Straw, don't you know? Straw! You've taken my son. But you shan't take my wife. You bastard. I've come to help your wife. To help her over to the other side. Isn't that God's own truth? I don't have time to explain everything to you. I need to... So you don't have the time? Come here, you fucker! Baby, baby. Lord, please end this. Please, no more suffering. Hmm, fever. Just like Melchar's wife. How? 
You're a sight for sore eyes. What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, Matthias. Sir Radzig sent me here to investigate the raid. Sir Radzig? Looks like you've come up in the world, mate. You're here. Yeah, something like that. But that's not important right now. Well, I'm glad to see you have a job. Lots of our old... If I were in your shoes, I'd get the hell out of here. Disease? Folk are saying it's the plague. Whatever it is, it's bad. It's a... Oh, damn! About this sickness. When did this plague start? The day after the raid. The horses were lying down in the stable. By afternoon, they were all dead. Then other animals... What are the signs that someone's getting sick? Well, I don't leave the house much, but folk complain of fever and shakes. Some are throwing their guts up. Has anyone died from it? Aye, old Verba. Although he was already on his last leg, so... Either way, the animals are dropping like flies and people will... Who's ill now? I don't know. What with my arm the way it is, I don't go outdoors much. But I know Melikar and Straw... Tell me about the raid. What do you want to know? I hear one of the raiders was... Why, old Melikar, let him have it over the head with a flail. And now... Why's that? That fucker killed young Straw and his old man's sharpening a sickle for him. I can tell you what he'll do with him. He'll hand him over to Sir Radzig's envoy. Me. I doubt Malachar will let him go willingly. The folk here are baying for blood. Lives have been lost. I know you've got courage enough for any man, but how did a bunch... One of the village lads caught sight of them coming through the woods and told Malachar, who roused the whole village. What? You mounted an assault against them? Aye, and that was the key. It was the last thing those whore sons expected. A few of them still managed to break through to the village, probably wanted to torch it, but even... Can you describe the raiders? I don't know. They came at dusk, so you couldn't see their faces. You talked to them? Can I ask you a bit about... I haven't been here. Can you tell me something about... He's a woodcutter, tough as they come, and a hothead. He's been... Oh, it's normal to grieve, though. Depends how you look at it. Folk are afraid he'll snap or drink himself to death. What's... Where can I find this? When you take the main gate out of the stables... What's Melikar like? The locals look up to him. Smil used to be in charge. I know. Sir Hanush hasn't had time to appoint a new vassal, and folk need someone to speak for them, so they pick... Thank God you had someone here who could take the reins. Aye. You're not allowed inside. If you want to go in, talk to Melikar. Good day to you. What's happened here? 
Things are bad. Very bad. Plague, you say? Indeed so. Something's... Tell me more about this plague. Worse than you can imagine. The whole stud. Livestock, sheep, chickens, all dead. I'm sorry to hear it. Thanks. No. Farewell. Sweet Mary, Mother of God, I come. Jesus, lad, what are you doing here? I'm here because of it. God bless you, boy. I need to know exactly what you're suffering from. Yeah. Oh, I know. see. Well, I have a dreadful fever. My wife, too. Is there anything else, apart from the fever? Well, forgive me for saying so. The shit just pours out of me. I can't keep anything in. I'm completely... You have my thanks. I'll try to... Wait a minute, will you? Uh... Make it stop. So tell me. I need to write my will. Can you write? I might manage that. Excellent. So get writing. Yes. I, Vincent, Sweet son of Vincent... Mother. Grandson of Vincent of Merhoyed, do bequeath my estate. Mm-hmm. I bequeath all to my cousin Dobesh, at this time the cobbler in Yanovitz. In no event shall my prodigal son Elia, the layabout and good-for-nothing, inherit a single groschen, all customs and traditions aside. Um, Stop. should I write that too? Yes, and then write... The executor of my last will is to be my good friend, Father Fabian. Anything else? This will was written down by... What is your name? Henry. Presently in fealty to Sir Radzig Kobola. Well, I never. That will add some weight. Here. Where can I find Father Fabian? Well, where do you think? Your son, Elijah. Christ almighty. Trying to interfere, are you? What did he do? Last we heard, he was some jackhand in Sasso. Boozing. All right. Uh, yes. Go now.